Indian Navy is accelerating efforts to seal the P-75I submarine contract by March, aiming to acquire six next-generation diesel-electric submarines with advanced stealth. Despite significant cost cuts by MDL and Germany's TKMS, the project is expected to cost nearly rupees 90,000 crore. The first submarine is slated for delivery seven years after signing, with indigenous content rising from 45 to 60 percent. TKMS is developing a brand new angular hull design to sharply reduce sonar detection and boost undersea survivability. India has strengthened the protection, mobility, and logistics of its UN peacekeepers through major indigenous upgrades under Atmanirbhar Bharat. New platforms like the Kalyani M4 armored vehicle and Sherp amphibious all-terrain vehicles enhance blast protection and mobility across extreme terrains. The Army has also revamped logistics, deploying chartered cargo aircraft for rapid delivery of medicines and spares. Officials say these modernized systems greatly expand operational reach and ensure Indian Blue Helmets remain safer and more effective in demanding mission zones. India has fast-tracked new orders for Israeli Heron Mk2 drones after their standout performance in Operation Sindor. For the first time, all three services, Army, Air Force and Navy, have contracted the satellite-linked UAVs under emergency procurement. The drones provided deep penetration, real-time imagery during precision strikes inside Pakistan, showcasing their 36-hour endurance and advanced sensor suite. With emergency procedures bypassing lengthy tenders, the Heron Mk2 is set to boost India's surveillance and strike capability across theaters. The Indian Air Force has shelved plans to acquire surplus C-17 Globemaster aircraft from the United States after the USAF confirmed it cannot spare any airframes due to rising global commitments. With India already operating 11 C-17s its strategic airlift backbone, the denial highlights a growing capability gap. With no used aircraft available, the IAF has shifted its focus to the upcoming multi-role transport aircraft program, evaluating platforms like the Airbus A400M and Kawasaki C2 for future requirements. India has launched a major leap in drone warfare, as DRDO's ADE begins developing an indigenous AI-enabled swarm UAV system, recently cleared by the Defense Acquisition Council. Designed for deep strike and base disruption missions, the Rupees 3000 core program will supply advanced drone swarms to the Air Force and Navy. A conceptual sketch shows a stealthy blended wing UAV with distributed propulsion and modular payloads, engineered for mass production and coordinated swarm attacks, capable of overwhelming enemy defenses. India and Russia are set for high-level negotiations on expanding New Delhi's long-range air defense shield, with the main emphasis on acquiring two to three additional S-400 regiments and replenishing expended missiles. Sources confirm that while discussions on the advanced S-500 system will occur, they remain exploratory with no immediate deal expected. India, the only country to receive full-spec S-400 units, has already operationalized three of its five contracted regiments. Now New Delhi seeks accelerated deliveries and around 300 extra missiles to replace stocks used during the 2025 India-Pakistan conflict and to strengthen long-term war reserves. The Indian Army has successfully carried out a combat launch of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile from a test range in the Bay of Bengal. Conducted jointly by the Southern Command and the Tri-Services Andaman and Nicobar Command, the missile streaked across the sea with unmatched speed and accuracy, striking its target with pinpoint precision. Southern Command Chief Lieutenant Jendiraj Seth hailed the launch as a major boost to the Army's long-range strike capability. The successful test reaffirms the reliability of India's indigenous missile systems and strengthens the country's push for self-reliance under the Atmanirbhar Bharat Initiative. India's Tejas Mk2 fighter program has entered a decisive phase, with the first prototype undergoing intensive ground testing and subsystem integration. Engineers are validating avionics, hydraulics, 
landing gear and power systems before moving to final assembly. If supply chains, including the delivery of G's powerful F414 engines, remain stable, the rollout is expected between March and June 2026. The maiden flight is projected for late 2026, with a buffer extending into early 2027. Designed as a 17.5-ton medium-weight fighter with advanced Dutam AESA radar and 6.5-ton payload, the MK-2 will replace India's aging Mirage 2000, Jaguar and MiG-29 fleets. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.